Hi, welcome back to Premier Scene. My name's William McLaughlin. I'm here for day five of the 56 BFI London Film Festival. Tonight we're going to speak to the cast and crew of Broken. I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about Broken and how you came to work on the project. Um, well, I, uh, I don't even remember how long it is. It's a long time ago. I met uh, Rufus and we'll start from there. It's basically a film that uh, is the development of a, it's a girl's summer and she grows up and comes of age and it's sort of her her she grows up through the events of this small sort of cul-de-sac and uh, I guess yeah it's, it's sort of how that it's sort of a coming her. of age story really I think isn't that's it, really? it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a, it's a follows lots of different people but it, in, in some of them go through similar sorts of circumstances in a short space of time. It's yeah. a big ensemble cast and everyone, all the stories sort of intertwine and it's all about mm. this small community and how they, all their stories affect this one girl and how she grows up during that summer. And was that an, exp an exciting for experience for you guys working with Rufus who's got obviously an extensive theatre background yeah. as a director? Yeah, he's an incredible director to work I, with, I absolutely. I love working with theatre directors particularly. They, they say that the theatre is uh, uh, the actor's medium of acting, so they really focus on that and they really do look after you, and I really do like working with theatre actors. Yeah, it's good. I had a great time. He's just uh, got a big heart and, and loves working with actors, and, and that's why actors love working with him. So. And what's it like tonight, being at the BFI? Are you guys excited? Are you nervous? Actually, a little bit nervous, yeah, because I think it's because we all love this film so much, so you know, a little bit nervous to see, hopefully see that people like it, yeah. you know. It's brilliant to have a yeah. film selected to show at London Film Festival, yeah, and absolutely. especially as it's so based in London, and yeah, it's such absolutely. a, it is, yeah, it's yeah. really brilliant. It's it means great. a lot. It was my first experience ever on a film set, and it was incredible. I mean, they're great people, and it was a great story, and really good fun to film. Yeah. Cool. And what was it like working with Rufus? Because he's really experienced. So. Yeah, um, we had a laugh. We just, we just had a laugh the whole time. You know, we mucked around, and we were serious, but you know. We still had a fun with it. And what's it like being at the BFI? Um, yeah, it's amazing. It's like nothing I've ever experienced. It's crazy, yeah. And do you think you're maybe going to go on and do some more acting after this? Well, um, I'm going to stop for a bit until I'm old enough to make decisions because I want to have a little bit of a childhood, you know, like so I go to school and hang out with friends, so I'm a bit unnormal, yeah. I was uh, wondering what it was like working with uh, Rufus, who's yeah. obviously got such an extensive theatre background. Um, is, do you feel spoiled as an actor when you're, when you're sort of in that position? Yes, Rufus Norris is a... Is a, I'd known his work on the stage, obviously, and he's a wonderful stage director. And the interesting thing about Rufus is actors absolutely love him. Um, and he um, engenders huge uh, loyalty from his actors. So um, I knew that was a very good sign, and uh, he does handle himself, he handled himself tremendously well. Because um, it's no mean feat to, to go from your, to go from your, Sorry, it's Billy. Scots? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I must say hello to him. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so it's no mean feat to go from a, uh, to be a stage director and then shoot your first movie. It's, uh, it's a hard one to do and he handled it so well, beautifully. And it's quite a, quite a young cast you're working with. Yeah, um, yes. Was that an exciting thing for you to do? Yeah. Isn't it? I mean, Eloise Ellie, who plays the lead, is just extraordinary. Uh, watching her on the set and the way she worked and what she had to play. She's very, very special. And as the young, other, I can't remember all their names now, but uh, all those young actors did a fantastic job because they, they had some really meaty stuff to do. Um, and they, did, they were fabulous, really. If you're working with quite young actors, what's kind of the challenge there and how do you look after them and sort of make sure they're happy? Well, my little sister, I mean it, as you probably see her running around soon. Her name's Martha and she was just a delight to work with. She was very, because she was a lot younger, very hyper and but she was so amazing, full of energy amazing. and we would just muck about with her as well but as soon as it come down to working we'd be like come on Martha you've got to do this and then we can go and play after, you can go and play with your football after. So yeah it was nice. But, yeah. what, was, what was the experience like for you working on the film? It was amazing to work with such talented people, especially Eloise, she's a newcomer. Um, I just thought, how have you not done anything before? Because she's just so natural at it, especially with Tim Roth and Gillian Murphy and Rory. Um, 
to think I'm working with these big people was just like, I felt a bit starstruck and it was really weird because I'm like, I'm in the film as well, do you know what I mean? But no, they, they were lovely. How do you kind of overcome that? I mean, like, I feel starstruck sometimes speaking to people on that side of the room. Yeah, no, I, no, I've just got, where I've spoken to them on a, like, offset, like we've been having lunch together and stuff, you realise they're just normal people and it may, and the fact that they're not, none of them was very like, I'm an actor, do you know who I am? sort of thing they were just normal people and I think that made it a lot easier to talk to them and be comfortable with them so it made me fight I was like oh they're just normal people really so are you excited to be here at the BFI so excited I just pulled up in the cab and was like oh my god there's so many people I thought it'd be a few oh they can have a picture on the didn't think it was anything like this but it's mad but I'm only fine <laughs> I'm playing um an au pair um, Kasia is her name, she's from Poland and um, she's an au pair in the family that is actually um, raised by a father, the mother left the family um, long before and so we see her as a caring, loving woman, taking care of the kids, making breakfast, doing the ordinary things every day. Um, but then it develops into a love triangle, uh, one with her partner, played by Killian Murphy, and then the other by Tim Roth, who is the father in the family. So it becomes quite dynamic at one point. Wow. Um, and you're working with quite a young cast as well. Did your role as an au pair kind of reflect on how you behaved on set with the children? Were you feeling protective of them and sort of looking after them at all? Or? Well, definitely, because it's, it's, um, it's very interesting. When you play with children, it's, um, they're very good critics. So you have to be very honest and you have to be very good. Otherwise, they kind of go like, uh, what'd you do there? That's not, I don't believe you. And so, on the other hand, it's hard for them to differentiate what's the character and where the character stops and where Zana comes in. So, you know, I had, I've been asked something like, do you know what you're doing in the scene where it's meant to shoot now is wrong? Do you know that's also illegal? You, you're not meant to beat up kids and things like this. And then it's very hard and very emotional to explain that's the character and not me. But it was really fun and it was really amazing. And what was it like working with Rufus, who's obviously got such a wealth of experience from his theatre background? Oh yeah, that was that was wonderful because I work in the theatre a lot too. And, and it was just, um, it's not something that's common. Um, in, you know, to expect from a filmmaker, which is something I really appreciated having the time to develop, or taking the time rather, to develop the character and each relationship with other characters and really, so when we started I felt very confident and very um, secure in what I was doing. A lot of people shoot their film on digital for their first film, but you've made the choice to shoot on 35mm, I wondered if you could just talk a little bit about that. Well in the end, you know, there's, there are two people predominantly behind the camera. One of them is me, who's never been behind a camera before, and the other one is Rob Hardy, who's been behind a lot of cameras. So that decision was basically down to Rob. I'm not going to tell somebody who knows what they're doing what medium to film, shoot the film on. You know, this is, I was interested to do it on, six, you know, on 35mm for all the cliched reasons, but in the end, I don't know what I'm talking about. It, that was Rob's call, and I totally supported him. I said, I'll do whatever you want.